Airplane is the way to quickly transform scripts into internal tools. It makes it easy to convert engineering-only APIs, SQL queries, scripts, and more into apps that your entire team can use. Airplane is built around small, single-function apps called tasks. You can then compose tasks together into multi-step workflows called runbooks. Let's walk through a quick example. Let's say we're on the engineering team, and right now, every time the customer support team wants to delete a user, they need us to run a script we've written. Airplane makes it simple for us to enable the support team to have access to this operation. First, let's click New, Task. We can select from many different ways to execute this task. Since we're using JavaScript, we'll choose Note. Now let's give this task a name. We'll call it Delete User by Email. Then we can add a parameter. This task is simple. It just takes a user email. We can add configuration and settings for when this task is run, but we'll skip that for now. Finally, we can configure things like permissions if we want to limit this task to specific groups or people within the company. We'll allow the engineering team to have admin access, while the operations team will have requester access, which means that anytime they try to run this task, it has to get approved by someone else. When we click Create Task, there's a set of instructions here on how to deploy it. We have a command line tool we can use to deploy the task code to Airplane. The first command here initializes the task. It creates an example JavaScript file for us, which is associated with the delete user task. Let's open and edit this JS file. Here you can add whatever logic is needed for the task. By default, the example script logs the input parameters and returns some fake data. So we'll add some code here to make an API call to look at the user, make an API call to delete the user, and we'll also use the airplane SDK to return structure output to the person running the script through airplane. We can now deploy this task to Airplane with a single command. Great, now our task is ready. We can visit the URL you see here to visit the task, but also when we head back to the Airplane UI, the page auto refreshes and we see the task here. Now anyone on the team can log into Airplane and run the task if they have the right permissions. Let's try it out. We can fill out a fake email, hit execute. When we look at the output and logs, we can see that the script ran as intended. The structure outputs show us that this user was successfully deleted, and it contains a link that is an archive of the user's data. Now, let's say we also want to send a Slack notification out every time the task runs. To do this, we can build a runbook in Airplane. Runbooks let us compose together multiple tasks, as well as built-in functions like Slack or email, into a multi-step workflow. Runbooks can be simple, like sending a notification after a task runs, or complex, like a 10-step customer onboarding flow complete with conditional logic. To create a runbook, click New Runbook. Let's call this Delete User with Message. Similar to before, we'll add a single parameter with the user email. A runbook is composed out of multiple blocks. A block represents a single step in a multi-step flow. We can use tasks like the one we just created as blocks in the runbook, and Airplane also provides pre-built things like Slack and email. Let's pick the delete user by email task we created earlier as our first block. Using this syntax, we can pass in the user email parameter into the delete user block. If we type in a sample value for the email and hit the test button, this will let us make sure the first block is working correctly. As expected, we see the same output as before. Now let's add another block to generate the Slack notification. Click the plus button and choose Slack. We'll add in the channel name we want this notification to get sent to. In the message body, we can use this syntax to grab the outputs from the previous delete user block. We'll also add a start condition that ensures the Slack message only prints out if the user deletion succeeded. Now let's run our runbook and see what happens. As you can see, the delete user block ran, and then finally we got a Slack notification as expected. And that's it. We've generated safe internal tools and runbooks using just a few lines of code. There's a lot we didn't cover, like our cron like schedules that allow you to run tasks or runbooks on a recurring basis, or SQL and REST based tasks that allow you to create tasks straight from your browser without having to deploy any code. Check out our docs to learn more about Airplane, or sign up today and give it a spin.